Antigone Triantafilopoulou, University of Freiburg. Harnessing DNA damage to reprogram macrophages in granulomatous diseases. So good morning to everybody. So um, I'd like to remind of those who don't know what is a granuloma. So that's uh, an aggregate of immune cells that forms in response to a persistent stimulus that our body cannot remove. And you can see the cells here like, oops. <laughs> You could see the cells here in red. Um, so granulomas in their most basic form form by macrophages. Um, and these macrophages within weeks that change their morphology and function, um, and some of them become large and multinucleated. And you just heard like our cells are normally diploid. So to us, it was a question. So why do these cells like become acquire multiple copies of their genome and how can they cope with that? So this is actually a very basic science question, but we think that this is a very important question um, for patients as well, because granulomatous diseases affect millions of people worldwide. And in some cases, granulomas are good guys. So in the case of tuberculosis, for example, you need a granuloma to wall off infectious mycobacteria. In other cases, though, such as in inflammatory bowel disease, vasculitis, sarcoidosis, um, granulomas persist, uh, we cannot identify stimulus, um, and we need nonspecific immunosuppressive medication to deal with them. Um, so what tips off the balance between like a self-limiting granulomatous inflammation and a chronic disease? Um, so we think that to understand heterogeneity among patient responses, we need to understand heterogeneity among cells within the granuloma itself. So we asked, uh, what makes these large multinuclear macrophages form? Um, so, is that good? So with single cell sorted cells grown in the presence of persistent inflammatory stimuli, what we saw is that the polyploid large macrophages were actually endpoints of diverse differentiation pathways. And what they all shared in common was that they had a tissue remodeling gene signature, and they actually required down-regulation of canonical macrophage transcription factors to form. So that means that this is like a different macrophage differentiation pathway. Um, and what we then did is we tried by live cell imaging, high content uh, image cytometry to figure out how these cells form. And we identified that during the replication of their DNA, these cells encountered a DNA damage <coughs> signal. And this DNA damage signaling led to mitotic defects, but at the same time activated DNA repair and survival and led to this non-canonical differentiation of tissue remodeling macrophages. So um, we are able to inhibit this pathway by inhibiting the ATR kinases, which is initiating this pathway. Um, and we propose that if, you, if we find ways to manipulate the DNA damage response in vivo, we can actually turn chronic granulomatous diseases into like self-limiting granulomas. Thank you.